Hello everyone, Winslow here. Welcome, Imperion. Reports to Eden. Point ten. We are gonna go to uh the dead planet in sector here. Uh our first warp. So glad that we're together for it. Uh lock target. And we'll check out the moons as well. At the medium dead. Good moon with aluminum. And another good moon with aluminum. And taxid and promethium. I might be able to turn this one into a fuel refinery. That'll be great. Um, and yes. Uh, hello and welcome. And you could be here. That I didn't crash there. <laughs> uh, dead planets are a most excellent source of salvage. And I'm actually a little surprised but there's not a bunch of baddies in orbit. Like there's a couple... pirate stations. But yeah, let's do... Now, most of the POIs on dead planets are not... Um, they don't show up necessarily on radar or map. It's more of a visual thing. You can see the name for it. It'll be like destroyed bunker or shelter, etc. cetera. Uh, but they don't show up as an indicator typically on the map unless you're pretty close to them or there are some specific ones like the, uh, like an alien um, relay. That is an admin core. I'm just going to do some scouting around until I find something interesting like this. That's the comm relay. Wouldn't it be funny if there was like a full abandoned POI? Great. But they tend to be better clustered uh, along the lines of like a city or an installation. Mining outpost. This is going to be some solar there. That's good. There's lots of fuel and components on Dead World. And we, you know, we started out on on a, a dread start in the last playthrough which I had an immense amount of fun with. I think we've got some infrastructure or a factory. Okay, that's got good boxes to loot. And I'm not gonna be building a CV from scratch like last time. And I'm not going to be using the warp tube this time. I am instead base camp. Got a lot of good supplies in there. Uh, I'm going to go with an X3 from Artemis Rouge. And then we'll use that to further exploration such arm this is going to have all the grow plots we'll ever need beautiful yeah I'm just going to fly around this real quick and scout everything out 
and we'll catch up in a bit. And we've found what we're looking for. The unfinished escape rocket usually comes with an additional rocket next to it, a small shuttle, and some sort of a command outpost. And it's nearby. We've got a space command outpost over here with another small shuttle rocket. And me with this one in. Base. Make sure there's not anything else out here that I'm missing. I think we got the good. Okay, let's start here at the space command outpost. the kind of goodies they've got inside. Not allowed. Not allowed. There's generally always some pretty decent salvage loot in most of these little bases. And then you can dismantle the uh, rockets themselves. And there's typically no enemies that you would have to worry about uh, on planet side. I think it'd be kind of neat if they like set up pirate bases on the salvage or on the dead planets. You could fight pirates. Yeah, I'm going to deposit my money. Thanks, dead planet. For taking care of all of my financial worry. The hangar left of it. Cargo An undelivered cargo. Day of the week. More undelivered cargo. Gonna, that's going to give me some good money and rep and block point. Which is all A plus in my book. And then we'll look at the blueprint that we need for the X3. We'll start dropping stuff in there. Word that is plastic. That 
that's good enough for me. Okay, we're gonna go to our ship. I like to do is then do this and then I'm just going to start dumping components that I've picked up into the factory. Now you want to be careful about dumping components in there. Um, if the blueprint does not have the associated bit in piece with it, because it will not, it won't apply it anywhere. It won't go into the factory anywhere if it's not on the blueprint that you're using. I'm not going to use the coil or the power, like the flux coil or power coil. And I'm not going to dump the ammo in there because you lose out some. You don't get like the cellulose back or magnesium. But most of what we're going to get, we're going to get from the big rocket, which we're going to go right to right now. Ooh. There it is. Now, many of you have probably seen this before, and I did it in the last series. Um, but I'm going to do it quickly. And land up here. As space allows. And uh, I'm going to stand on the thruster and we're connected. And we want to get to the core, which is going to be. Not through there. It's gonna be in the main rocket here. It's up. It's gonna be up there. Do I have... Oh, I got them. Yes. Last the door. And we're going to... Leap of Faith. Here or there's still food in here. Mmm. Dead planet steaks and dead planet cheese. Screw that. No, wrong. I'm wrong. I'm shooting at the wrong thing. It's through that. Oh, that's the CPU extender. Maybe this one has changed a little bit. 
Mm hmm. Pop the extender. Let's scout. Through this door. Door. That is that door. And then if you go down, you go through the garden. And then further down, uh, there should be access to... Being. Remember where it is. Didn't think so. Okay, we're gonna try. I would really rather not break through the extender, but it's a base extender, not chip extender. So we're just gonna hope that doesn't blow everything up. Uh oh. Where is it? He says, not to know. Searching through my own memory banks, Let's see if I remember. This is the other side of where we just were. The bridge. Can't do anything with yet. That takes us down into where... Oh, well, I guess we're going down there. This is where all the components are that we need to salvage. Not where the CPU is. So, I'm going to find the CPU, and I will catch up once we find it. Sneaky little fella is in here, right above the warp drive. They... It's different than it was on the Dread Start. And I know that I'm not, I know that I'm not like having a moment.
on the dread start one, it was up above us in a hatch. Okay. Uh, so now I can take everything. I still connected to my ship. Yes. So I'm just going to pull... Um, I wonder... If... Should I make a salvage core or should I just... Make a salvage. I'm not going to try to save the extenders. I'll get the raw components out of them. I'll get enough to make it worth my while. See, I just got three large bricks. RCS are great to uh, salvage. Warp drive is gonna be most excellent. Uh, We can take fuel. The escape shuttle is a bounty of fuel, if you can take it. ammo that I'm actually using. I'll take ammo that I'm not using yet. I'll have should have a lot of components left over once I'm done. Or maybe some good starter upgrades for the X3. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get my ship and continue tearing all this apart until my cargo is full. Okay, ship is full. Then same thing as before. Um. I'm, I, I guess I got too much, maybe. Or was in there? I'm gonna grab you. Electronics. I need. I know. I need the Sathium. I need carbon. I need steel plates. Optical fibers. I got another cargo, and I got some food sprouts. Motors are good.
Lithium is all that I need. Carbon, copper, iron, silicon. I need neodymium, so I'm going to have to go after... I'm going to have to get the um, thruster. Bits. Ammo and raw ore aren't going to do anything. These I'm not going to touch. Uh, advanced electronics, I'm going to dump in there. Need oxygen. Go. That was a lot. Okay. Uh, to the thrusters. There are many of them. That is going to be too close in there, but one thing I can do is you can salvage using your drone. The only weapon you can use here with your drone, uh, that in a, you can mine with it. You can't, you can't fire bullets with it. And knowing how Imperion works with thrust and stuff, they wouldn't have had... They wouldn't have enough thrust to get off the planet with this. I know that there's... It's uh, the staged rocket, so they've got... Uh, the booster stage down here. Steel blocks. Bunch of capacitor relays all the way up that I'm never going to be able to loot. Full side. Okay, let's see how we are so far. And then we'll take apart the structure itself. We'll start taking it apart for any remaining pieces. Huh. Good. Closer. 
Okay. I can tell you that this planet is not going to have or this rocket is not going to have sufficient neodymium for the amount of thrusters that the X3 has. They still need about 1,200. So... We can knock it down. And get at least salvage components in bulk. As it falls apart. Don't land on my ship. This is a much faster way to uh, dismantle large structures. You get less stuff out of it. But once you take the important components out and you're just dealing with the structure itself, it's sufficient. What I got from that just a little bit right there. How much did I? That's pretty good. That's all my iron needs. Okay, so I am going to have to do some further exploration. Uh, for cobalt, titanium, and neodymium. Silicon, copper, and the substrate I can easily get. But we, thankfully... We are in a rich system. Um, got not that one. We've got the medium snow planet, which is going to have our titanium and cobalt. And then we've got uh, an arid for Neo, and also a desert for Neo. The arid planet is also going to have uh, something that I want a lot of. I'm going to leave that for now. I don't really need anything else from it. Got the important bits. Uh, so we're going to head out. Uh, it is going to have 
alien thorns in the desert um, in the form of like ground cactus and then in the water there's uh, seaweed that you can get plant protein out of and the water usually has some pentaxid in there we're gonna go to Not that one. We're going to go to and if if needed, we'll go to the moons for fuel because I don't have very much pentaxid, but I'm also not worried about my pentaxid because there's always uh, asteroids around the Polaris station that I can mine out. A cobalt asteroid. Asteroids are great, but I don't have a mining laser on this ship. That's not what this ship is for. Suspicious asteroid, huh? That's a pirate asteroid. Let's see what we got planet side. Couple of naughty gunships are in a neo deposit. Okay. I think it dropped us right on the. right next to the drone base orbit. Don't want to deal with. There are definitely guns on top of that. Factory. Try to find an unguarded one. We've got 24 to choose from. Buried. As I was saying about alien thorns, these pl these plants on arid and desert worlds will have alien thorns. They don't have very many, it's just one per node, but the nodes respawn. They regrow after a period of time. So that's a threefer. And alien thorns are useful in making uh, med kits. So each, it's I think it's one thorn per med kit. A small, not trauma kit. 
med kit. Uh, yeah, so it's super important to make sure that you can stockpile these if you're going to be doing a lot of POIs and taking damage. Because med kits are always good. I wish you could grow them. Okay, so the small little barrel cactuses, those are the ones that give you three. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, for just less than a minute. Otherwise, you can craft alien thorns in your food processor. Uh, and I think it's an alien tooth and some other plant protein or something. But just from this little runabout here, I'm going to have enough thorns for all my healing needs for quite some time. And I found a poorly guarded Neo patch. But here, I was just right on top of it and I killed the gunship. So I'm going to mine this out by hand. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. Right, let's see how much I can make at boxes now. Okay, well, let's need five or ten. Need not twelve. So we're gonna. Uh, See what that does if we can get about a thousand. I'm gonna need to make more trips around and about um, and cook a bunch of stuff up here. I need to basically get all of this ore into ingots. Um, you know, I might have most of the rest of what I need. We've already had some Neo in here. Might just be set. And it's okay if I go over, it just stays in the factory. Iron is done, cobalt done, silicon. Uh, that will do it. Copper. That'll do it. Uh, Neo, we're going to need about 700. And titanium, I'm going to need about 900. Titanium, titanium. The rest of that is cooking out. Oh, excellent. Uh, what's I get? I saw about three hundred and three forty one. Seven hundred. 
And I can easily get that in another round trip, but I'm not going to drag you all on that. Um, I'm going to finish this out. Next time, we'll be going out and doing stuff with our new cap ship with the X3. So thanks again. This is kind of a, this is a maintenance episode. We need a bigger ship, um, but I'm, I'm not planning on having nearly as many ships as I did in the last playthrough. I think that might have also maybe been part of the overall stability issue. I'm likely going to just stip, stick to um, one type of ship. So, one HV, one SV, one CV. And then maybe put a base up in space with a furnace. So, uh, until then... I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out and have a good week.